So in the last part of this video, we are going to see how we can write and read from a file. Now, we have already seen how we can open and close a file, right, where, uh, using the various stream classes. Now, in order to write to a file, we need to use the operator that we use with C out, and that is called as the stream insertion operator. That means when you are writing onto a file, you are taking the data from your program and inserting into it into the stream. And that data flows to the file or the input output console. So the operator which is used to insert the data from the program into the stream is called as a stream insertion operator. And we are going to use the stream insertion operator to write to a file. Similarly, when we use C out, we also use the stream insertion operator. All right. Now for file, we will use the object of the OF stream or the F stream class along with the stream insertion operator. So let's look at it. So what are the steps involved in order to write onto a file? So first you need to include the F stream header files. Now this is important because unless your fstream header file is included just like your io stream you will not be able to create any objects to write onto a file now once you include the fstream header files we need to open the file for writing and then when you want to write something onto a file we need to get the data so what we do is we get the contents from a user so in our program we are going to accept some data from the keyboard using the c in and then we will take that data and write the contents to the file and then we close the file so this is an example of how we can actually do it so let's look at it first thing we have a character array right here which everybody understands what we're trying to do here then we are trying to get some data from the user in the in the sense like we're going to accept some data from the keyword so this part of the program I'm sure everybody is clear with there is no file handling code here at all. So let's look at it now and include the file handling or the codes required to write to a file. First thing, we need to include the fstream class because that's the class that we're going to use to create objects to write to a file. So along with the IO stream, which works for C in and C out, we are going to use the fstream class now. So that's number one. Second, we are going to create an object of the fstream class. So we have used the OF stream. The reason we have used OF stream is because we don't need to give the file mode, but this is a default. This class, the default for this class is the write operation. So we don't have to specify the mode in which we need to open the file. So this is fine. Now, if you look at it, we open the file here, we get some text, get the data from the user. So now we have some data which is present in the variable data. So some text which we have taken from the keyboard is being stored right now into this array called data. Now what we do is it's very simple. Take the object of the OF stream class, insert it. Now we are using a stream insertion operator here. Here you go we insert this data which is storing the data that we have uh, acquired from the user or we have input from the keyboard and we are putting it into this out file object and then we are closing the out file object now what the stream does is as soon as you pass the data to the out file out file object that we have created of the of stream class that data will go to example.txt and it will be written there now if example.txt does not exist it will create a file all right so it's very simple to write onto a file so if example.txt exists from before it's going to write on that file if it doesn't exist it's going to create this new file called example.txt and write the data into that so that's how you write onto a file using the of stream class object so let's revisit the various steps that are involved 
in writing onto a file. So the first thing, include the stream classes. The second thing, open the file for writing. Third, write onto a file. And it's as simple as that. And you close the file, which is an important part. So let's look at uh, the ways in which we can read from a file now. Now in order to read from a file, we need to use the stream extraction operator. That means we are taking the data from a source and extracting it so that we can insert it into our program. So we use the stream extraction operator. So for the IO devices and for the IO stream classes, we use C in object and along with C in object, we also use the stream extraction operator. So stream insertion is for re writing onto a file and stream extraction is to read from a file. Now for file, we will be using an object of the IF stream class or the F stream with the stream extraction operator. Now IF stream class by default has the property for reading from a file. Now the point is that if we use the IF stream and the F stream object to read the file, it's just going to read the file, but it's not going to display what you have read onto the monitor. Now when you perform the reading operations, it's a little bit complicated from that of a write operation. Now the stream objects together with the stream extraction operator reads the file sequentially. So what happens is there is an attempt to read a file from the first byte and as soon as a first white space character is encountered right or the end of the file whichever comes first the reading uh, the, the stream ends there. So white space characters means a space tab or a new line. Now this can create a problem. The problem is that if you're reading from a file and you encounter a space, the stream stops there. That means the reading operation stops there. So even if you have one sentence, you will only get the first word uh, which is read from that file. Right. So if you have a space or a tab or a new line, it just stops there. So let's let's see uh, what exactly the problem is here through an example. So before we actually go to the code, let's again uh, revisit the various classes and see exactly how we use the classes to read from a file. So this is a simple example where we have a string which is called as data and other and what the the contents that we have on the file is mentioned here. It says have a nice day and there's a new line and it says thanks. So our purpose or what we want to do is we want to read this entire text from a file. But let's see what are the problems that we face. So the first thing is include the stream classes. So we have F stream class which we are including for reading from a file and other classes we are well aware of. The second thing is we open the file. So we use an object which is an in file from the IF stream class and using that in file object we open the file now if the file does not exist it is not going to create this file so this file should be there from before with the contents that we have mentioned below now what we do we take in file object and we pass the data that means in file object contains your in file object contains so basically it's going to read, start reading. So you're going to, is it an stream extraction or, uh, extraction or an insertion?
so here the in file object already contains the because you're opening the in file object so this stream has got the data so we need to extract it so we are using the stream extraction operator here so this in file so what we're doing is we're extracting the data which is there in the uh, in this in file object from the stream and we pass it on to this variable that is a string that we have declared and this line is very clear we are just printing whatever exists in this uh, string uh, what you call variable and then we close the file now what do you think is going to be the output of this program we wanted the output to be have a nice day with thanks however since after have there is a white space so only have will get printed so if you look at it the first step we did was stream classes we included them then we opened the file for reading then we read from a file and then we printed the contents onto the screen and what you got was have now this is a problem because it encountered a white space after have and it ended the stream there but we need to continue reading the stream so we need to read the second and the third and the fourth word as well so how do we do it so one way of doing it is is keep adding or keep reading the stream one after the other so the first time when you read in file data right and you extract the data from the stream it extracts the first and then again when you extract the second uh, you use the in file data it extracts the second content that is a uh, and but after a uh, there is a white space again so it again stops so the output of this program will be have a uh, so if you want in file data in file data if you have four in file data then it will print this whole line and then you have to go with the fifth in file data and then it will print thanks but that's a very tedious way of doing the program we need a better solution to do this So there is a problem in this uh, methodology or in this process of reading, uh, you know, from a file, because obviously you can read it, but you have to continuously use get line. And second thing is you also need to know how many words are there in the file, right? So let's just discuss the drawbacks. So for every line, we need to use a get line function, which is not a good way. And we also need to know how many lines exist in a code. Right, so these are the problems that we face here in this program. Now, in order to overcome these problems, there are two ways in which we can do it. One is use loops to reach uh, to read every line. So you can put that get line into a loop, and then that loop will continuously, you know, go through uh, the different uh, get line functions many number of times, and it will extract all that. And the second one is by using an inbuilt functions to check if the end of the file is reached. So the end of the file that we see here will work well with a binary file but not with a text file. However, there is a fail method and this fail method works with a text file. So what the fail method will do is it will, uh, if the error occurs, it will the error can occur uh, there are different kinds of errors that can occur when we are actually using the fail method and we can actually look at that first so the fail function actually returns true if the error has occurred with the current stream otherwise it returns false so the examples of uh, you know the fail function returning true could be when you don't find a file or the file cannot be created because of some permission issues or there is some uh, corrupt formatting of data inside a file but the most important part that we are interested in is if the end of the file is reached before the requested data could be read then the fail function returns a true so till the fail function returns true we can continuously read and operate and extract the data from the stream so let's look at a simple example so in this example all the steps are 
what we had done before however we have got the first line here get line and then we are using the in line in file function now just to uh, give you a brief about this get line this get line I think I showed you here that in this case what happens is when you use in file data you extract it from the uh, stream directly you just get that word and it stops at the white space however if you want to get the entire line we use the get line so get line will extract the entire line and then again the second get line extracts the next line however you need to know the number of lines that you're present I'm just doing a recap because I explained when I was talking about this however if you use in file fail that means when you're using the fail function here this fail function will be true if you reach the end of the file so the first get line will print this and the second which is there in the loop it will continue to get all the lines from the file until the end of the file is reached so the fail function is quite effective for reading all the contents of the file now you must try this this program you need to write it on your system and then see uh, put some data into your example.txt or the best possible way would be create a file called example.txt using the program and enter some data into the file and then use another program to extract and read that data from the file so we are clear with the fail function this fail function is very effective because it returns true only when there are certain failures that occur and these failures are defined here So with this uh, last slide that I have talked about, uh, I have discussed about the two different ways or the way, different ways of writing and reading from a file. Now what we have done is we have used the IF stream. Now your assignment is in all the examples that I have shown here to read from a file we are using the IF stream. But you can also use the F stream. So you need to try and rewrite this program by using the F stream object. Similarly, in order to write to a file, we also we have used uh, the OF stream. So, sorry, uh, in order to read from a file, we have used the IF stream, right? So you can go and use the OF stream and uh, sorry, the F stream and try and do it. All right. So with this we come to the end of the file handling so let's just go through uh, the contents and see if we have covered all of them so we have talked about the concept of a file we have talked about the file types we've talked about the f stream i f stream and o f stream classes o f stream is for uh, writing and i f stream is for reading and f stream can be used both for reading and writing so as i told you that kindly try the reading and writing operations by using an f stream class that's your assignment and then we've talked about the file access lifecycle how to open a file how to close a file then the function arguments that is the fail method uh, the function the different file modes and how to close a file and then open a file for reading and writing so overall we've completed uh, whatever is there in your syllabus for file handling now it's very simple to create a file read from a file and write onto a file however you must try your own programs so happy learning please keep whatever i'm teaching you you need to practice you need to write a code you need to see the program replicate the program and then write your own program as a code so please do it on your system otherwise the entire uh, concept and entire you know the effort that we are taking right now to create videos and take classes is going to be futile so please watch my video and if you have any doubts please ping and there are some students who have uh, sent me their doubts and uh, I will be replying to those emails very soon so till then happy learning